Hello, this is Elizabeth on the Dandy Soap Channel. Thank you so much for hopping over here and viewing this video on how to make a gusseted bottom liner bag for any planner or container. If you're interested in making the project that you see videotaped here, please check the comment description box below and you'll find a link there. This particular project you are viewing was made using all Dollar Tree items for less than $3 cost. Now, to make your gusseted bag for your container or your planner, you will simply add 5 inches to the width and 5 inches to the length. That will be the amount of fabric you'll need to cut. So, let's jump to it. Now to make a liner, you're going to need to cut you a piece that is 24 inches by 17 inches. You'll place the right sides together and use your glue gun to glue it together. You'll do the bottom edge the same way. This will give you plenty of seam allowance as well. Your right sides together. And since my seam is a little off right here, I'm going to do it just this way. And you'll just glue it the same as you did the other. If you guys can make out what I'm doing here. Now remember, this will have dry arrangements in it. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, you just want to close that seam up. Uh, just so it will have a bottom in it. So that way if you pick it up and transport it from one room to the next. None of your flowers are falling down the bottom side. And then some of you may have decided to put a bottom in your planter, and that's fine too. Uh, either way will work just great. I just want to line my box. Now a trick in the crafting world, in the sewing world, um, to miter these or to gusset your bottom, if you want to square this and gusset it, what you do is this is the bottom. This is the short side. And you will basically take that end to where it's pointed take and point your ends just press them I hope that makes sense what I'm telling you to do lay the seam to one side and then press your point down so just make sure whichever way you want to go that your seams or run the same way because if you don't it'll just get all kinds of wonky and what you'll do is you'll take your ruler and generally you measure in around an inch and a half so basically from that point you can go in two inches so whichever way you make that point go to guess at your bottom just take the point and put your ruler there and measure over by two inches and then you'll just mark that so that you know where you're going to be cutting and then once I mark it I basically draw me a straight line all the way across now guys don't shortcut this you want it all the way across And what you'll do is you'll t actually, because we're have, we're gluing this together and we're not sewing it together, otherwise you would actually sew this right through there, then you would cut it. But being that we are using glue, we're going to have to run in the opposite direction. So that means we're going to cut it first and then we're going to glue it together there. And this will make you a square bottom. So basically put your glue there where we just cut and put them back together. And then you'll do the other side the very same way. So let's let that glue press. We have that seam flow in this direction. And this side won't have a seam because the way we put our bag together, I always put my seam up the middle back. Now, you'll fold it, take your ruler, and right there at that point, pay attention to the seam point, not so much this point, 
just in case they're not alike so you don't get messed up and once again from that point you're going to mark two inches and you can do an inch and a half but on this particular bag I'm going to do two inches take your ruler draw you a line all the way across like I said you don't want to go in short and cut and that you want to make sure you go all the way across then I just make sure that it's laying totally even because I know where it's at even if I didn't I've got most of it measured you're going to cut that off like I said if we were sewing this we would sew it first then cut this off but being that we're gluing it we're having to do the reverse so we'll cut it and then we'll glue it okay put those back together okay if you're sure that the glue is cooled because with doing when you're gluing something like this together you got to make sure that that glue has cooled off that way it hardens and it's fused to the fabric if it's still warm or uh, mushy or soft don't disturb it because your bag could potentially it'll come unglued okay now that our bag is cooled off we can turn it inside out that way the right side is back outside and voila we have our gusseted bottom how hey, you guys like that squares it up and then that way uh, you have your square bottom bag to go inside of your box your little arrangement, dry arrangement, planter box. Now, let's try it out. Put my box up here. I know it's hard for you guys to see this. <clears throat> and basically, I'm going to put my liner inside there. And whichever way you want to turn it, it's not going to much matter. Because now you have a square bottom. And if it's baggy or drapey, then you know you can pull it down here and fold it back under. Or tuck, I basically push it back inside, is what I do. And then that way it's like I want it. And then I'm going to see if you guys can't see this a little bit better. I know it's down inside the box, so to speak. But I'm just turning this edge down you guys see it doesn't it look awesome i am loving it it looks so good now this side you know is going to be the side i'm not prevailing on on this but i could use my box either way this is the other the love that i've got flowing the other direction and then like i said you can bring that around and I don't want to overshadow my E. So if you need to, you can push in the difference so that only the edge is coming out. And you know how to adjust it. You guys are smart. And you've seen enough of these DIYs. You know how we work it. And then I'll cut off any of this fray from the seam. Now... If you wanted to, if you want, if you do like me, now what I'll do is I will either take me some burlap ribbon or the jew twine that I had you guys to get in the beginning with your supplies. And what you can do is now that we've got our bag made, you just basically, I'm going to have my, I'm going to tie something right here. So what I will do is I will bring that edge down and I'll just keep going around and around. And sometimes the best thing to to do that to get it wound like you wanted to is bring your G twine around to this side and go ahead and tie it. I'm having some technical difficulty, guys. My G twine just took off on me. 
That's why it's taking me so long to get around the side of this box. So go ahead and just uh, give it a little snug. But I'll tell you a trick. If you bring it around there twice and pull it, it won't come untied. See that right there? It will literally stay right there for you. Just loop it around the string twice, then pull it. Now what I'll do is I'll keep going around. I want to bring that tail down and keep it there. And then that way I can just bring my jew twine around however many times you want to. It's strictly up to you. It's, you know, it's decorating and giving it that old-fashioned English cottage farmhouse style. And the good thing is every bit of this can be repurposed or you can do something else. And that's probably enough jute twine to suit me. So what I'll do is I will bring and I will take and go ahead and cut that. But I will bring this string that's already cut up under all of those. Including the one that I just came around with. I hope you guys can see that. And then I'll pull it up and then bring it around and give it a tie. And like I said, you can reuse every bit of this. So it's, you know, you're not, nothing's going to go to waste there. And I will give some shots of this so you guys get to see it a little better. And I'll just go ahead and tie a little bow there. Just a little bit of country homespun charm just give it it's all together I'm so darn cute <laughs> and I look so romantic and elegant and it just really has all that country cottage rustic feel to it it's just absolutely gorgeous I, I hate that you guys can't see it any better I know the camera and all let me turn it this way see how gorgeous that looks and that fabulous that is just fantastic and like i said you know any extra you can just tuck in the bottom there then once you get your arrangement in the top and most likely i will do an arrangement in it and then show it to you guys so this is the end of this diy and uh, i appreciate you guys come along if you will please give me a thumbs up Leave your comments in the comments below section below. And if you do this project, please tag me on Instagram at Dandy Soap. Uh, and you can, uh, if you will, see the, share this with a family or a friend. And until the next DIY, this is Elizabeth saying have a wonderful, dandily, crafty day. Bye, guys. See you next DIY. Over and out.